Hey you guys, so we are going to be doing an extreme kitchen cleaning. As you can see, my kitchen definitely needs some tender love and care. It's stuff all over the counters, dishes in the sink, pantry looks a mess, refrigerator has old food in it. So I always start out with cleaning by, I pretty much just do one area at a time. That makes it easier for me so I don't feel like I'm all over the place. So I just pick a section in the kitchen and I perfect that section and then I move on to the next. So right now you'll see me just trying to clear everything off of the counters that should not be there. I mean, we have a shoe on the counter for goodness sake. <laughs> all miscellaneous things that should not be there. I take it off of the counter. If it's something that belongs upstairs, of course we know where that goes on the stairs until we take it up. So yeah, that's what I'm doing first. Now I did want to take the dishes out of the dishwasher and put them up. However, all of the dishes in the dishwasher were not clean. I do not like my dishwasher, you guys. I feel like it does not get dishes clean. So I took all of the dishes out of the dishwasher and put them in the sink. So that's why the dishes right here may not look too dirty because I'm just scrubbing any food that may be left in it so that when I put it back in the dishwasher, the dishwasher can actually do its job because it seems like if there's any food left on the plates or anything, it's not gonna clean it. So that's what I'm just doing right here. we have that out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and reload the dishwasher and put everything that I just wiped down back into the dishwasher I do anything possible to not clean dishes you guys cleaning dishes by hand it cleaning dishes and fold and close those are my two household duties that I hate doing so I will do anything possible to not do it <laughs> so i'm just loading everything up into the dishwasher and i'm gonna let the dishwasher finish its job that it did not do the first time by the way what pods do you all use that you feel like really clean your dishes because i know certain pods in the grocery store they you know advertise for certain things saying you don't need a scrub just put it right in the dishwasher as is so which dishwasher pods if you use a dishwasher do you use that you feel like works really good because i need them okay send them in the comments below i will purchase immediately <laughs> side note let's take a moment of silence for my legs y'all if you watch my vlogs you know how hard I've been going in the gym and my legs definitely need more work of course because they still have you know they're still very thick they still have fat on them and everything like well they're still gonna have fat on them regardless but anyway you can actually see the muscle definition in my legs I'm just so proud of myself because sometimes when you're just looking at your body on a day-to-day -day basis, you can't tell. And then when you see something that like a picture or a video that I'm, you know, I'm saying that you're watching right now, I could definitely see the definition in my legs. So woo woo to me, I'm proud of me. Okay. I know they ain't got nothing to do with the video, but I just wanted to point that out because I was looking at the video like, girl, them legs is looking good and they're going to get gooder and gooder and gooder. I know gooder is not a word, but still gooder. <laughs> I do not put the grills that go on the stove top in the dishwasher anymore because like I said the dishwasher was not getting it clean so I'm just washing it by hand I absolutely hate doing this when I got the house my mom she told me that I was gonna hate cleaning the grills because they get dirty so easily it's like anything you cook 
it just picks up food oil anything so I don't clean these daily honestly um my mom I believe she wipes it down daily but girl I'm not doing that so I just clean this about once a week and that's what we're gonna do gonna go ahead and wash the twins their high chair tops or the coverings for their high chair um well the coverings for their high chair trays because usually I just take a uh, wet ones and I just wipe it down but about once a week I will actually wash it by hand Then there were some dishes that were not able to fit in the dishwasher so that's why I'm washing these by hand <sighs> say a prayer for me y'all because I was just miserable the whole time I was washing these dishes <laughs> Also, the sponge that I'm using is a scrub mommy sponge in case anybody was interested in it I do know they have like scrub daddy and scrub mommy honestly I don't know what the difference is I just know the scrub mommy was it said that it was a dual sided sponge so I really do like it and the mouth of the sponge is supposed to be perfect for utensils where you could just slide it in the mouth and it it cleans it really good but I don't know it don't do nothing special to me i think it's just <laughs> i think that's just another way that they're using to advertise the sponge is something different but overall i do like the sponge and i'll make sure to link everything that i'm using below so okay can i be honest here without y'all judging me when i used to live in my apartments i used to put the grease in like the bushes like the old grease in the bushes but now that I'm in a house I can't do that anymore of course and I don't want to put the grease down the garbage disposal or you know because it'll clog up the pipes my dad did tell me that if I use Dawn dish soap um while putting it down the drain it won't clog it up but with that much grease that you all just saw I don't want to put all of that down the drain so what I do is once a empty bottle of oil is done I'll just put all of the grease that I have accumulated over the course of months I'll put it in the old bottle and then once it's filled up I'll just put the top back up there and put it in the trash can but I have a bottle like a full bottle that I cannot find the top for so I don't know what to do with it so what do y'all do with y'all grease any anybody that's in a home like what do you do because I don't know <laughs>
ones my neighbor actually gave to me they came in like i had like five boxes of them and they weren't perfect you guys like if you have kids it's perfect to wipe their hands down but i also use it for our walls the countertops the tables pretty much anything that you need to wipe down and you want to use something that's like antibacterial is perfect for that so i have so many boxes of them that i'm trying to get rid of them because they expire this month <laughs> i didn't even know that they expire but yeah <laughs> I know y'all just saw my tops to my pots just all thrown in the on cabinet. I really need to invest in a holder for them because I do have one for the actual pots and pans and you can storage the tops up there, but I just have too many pots and pans so I don't have room for the tops. So I just like threw them all in one cabinet. <laughs> So now that we have the drying rack clear, I'm gonna go ahead and put the dishes that I clean into the drying rack so that I can clear out the sink just in case somebody needed to use it. Yada, 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 you know, the vibes. The product that I use to wipe down my appliances is this stainless steel cleaner. I really like it. I use it with a microfiber cloth because I feel like if you use a paper towel, it just doesn't do the job. I feel like you definitely need a microfiber cloth. It, you know, it does, when you use a microfiber cloth, it does good with not leaving any streaks, which I hate. But as far as the product cleaning the actual appliances, it does an amazing job. I use it for my refrigerator, dishwasher, um oven microwave and my stove top sometimes so it's really good now if you're wondering why my microwave looks so yellowy even though it is a yellow light in the microwave so it's gonna look yellowy but it's more yellowy than it should be because we were living in the house for literally two months and my son burnt some popcorn up in the microwave and it stained the entire microwave and i tried to scrub it so hard y'all but it just would not get back to how it was like brand new <laughs> so i was so sad you guys and i was really upset because this is like tuh, this is what this was like the fifth time that he has done it As a matter of fact it wasn't even popcorn it was some a cup of noodles and he he kept forgetting to put the water in the noodles so he would just put the noodles in the microwave and it would burn oh y'all i was so mad this little area is pretty much i use these cabinets for cleaning supplies supplements that i take medicine things of that such and then i just keep my fruit right here like the bananas i have a container i have a little wire rack on the counter that i keep bananas uh potatoes if need be oranges whatever fruit that i might have but as you can see, I have accumulated a very various different things over here that should not be over here, like bread, water, things like that. So I'm gonna try to do better, you guys, because I have noticed that the way that it works for me is that it's I'm either all the way clean or it's just a complete mess. And I feel like that once it's like starts to teeter towards the messy side, it's hard for me to go back to the organized side. So I'm really trying to be intentional with keeping everything clean, you guys, because I'm just, as I'm getting older, I do not live in, like living in mess. 
and we have a household of seven so it's pretty difficult to keep everything in order at all times and five out of those seven are kids so you can only imagine the mess that we accumulate <laughs> but I'm really trying to do better because I don't like it I truly need to get rid of that hot cocoa stand because it's definitely spring, <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that. So this drawer, I just keep my teas and I have some marshmallows in a bag that I didn't want to get, want them to get hard. So I do need to get some organization racks for my teas. Um, but right now I just keep them in plastic bags so they won't get all mixed up and messy in the drawer. Now time for this island, you guys. Oh my gosh, just looking at it, <laughs> it's a mess. So I'm just cleaning off the island, as y'all can see clearly. But I do want to share something with you guys that I read in this book called The Mountain Is You. And it's about disorganization. And it really spoke to me and it's something that really is trying to make me be even more intentional with keeping my space clean because you don't realize how much disorganization has an effect on you and how there's really an underlying issue there if you're always disorganized. So it says, by leaving our lives and spaces in disarray, we are not just mindlessly forgetting to take care of our surroundings. We are often actually creating distractions and chaos that serve an unconscious purpose. A clean, organized space, both for work and for living, is essential to thriving. This means a tidy home, clothes that are easy to reach and put together each morning, a clean kitchen, cough, cough, an organized desk, paperwork should be filed in one space, your bedroom should be calming and everything should have a home that it can return to at the end of the day. Without cleanliness, we create fewer opportunities for ourselves. Nothing positive nor beautiful flows from chaos. Deep down, we know this. Often when we are self-sabotaging self through disorganization, it is because when we are very clean or organized, we get an uneasy feeling. That uneasy feeling is what we are trying to avoid because it is the recognition that now that everything is in order, we must get to work on knowing what we need to do or who we want to become. When we leave our spaces messy, we are always a few tasks or priorities away from stepping out and showing up. So if that resonated with you, you guys, that book is called The Mountain Is You by Brianna Wiest. And I really love that book, y'all. I have advocated for this book to my friends, family. Like, I just love it. So... I'm going to link that below. Also, it's in my Amazon storefront under books section. On your parade, shine, you can share things, yeah. If I was for the time, then I would change the day. So I never saw your face. So we finally have the counters clean. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray it down with this granite and stone cleaner. It's, I believe it's by the same brand that the stainless steel cleaner is, but I'm not certain off top, but I'll link it below also. And I'm just using the same microfiber cloth to wipe down the counters. Um, so there won't be any streaks left. Multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up. 
Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus this little area right here is just like a desk area in the kitchen and typically I do leave my cameras there sometimes and my battery um, charger there because I don't need the actual wall plug. I could just put it into the USB and since I vlog pretty much all over the house it's just like a drop off point for me to leave my camera there. But I'm really going to try to work on putting my camera in a specific spot because as I said before, we have kids in the house and I don't want them to get to it. Now time for the refrigerator, y'all. Oh my goodness. This refrigerator needed some, some loving weeks ago, okay? I have not cleaned this refrigerator in a while. So I'm just going through every item in there to see what's expired. Trying to figure out if this is your item, do you want it? If not, it's going in the trash okay and having some type of organization so i can see really what's going on because i do need to go grocery shopping for sure but i wanted to get everything in order first to figure out what do we truly have because i don't know if anybody else is like this but sometimes i'll go to the grocery store and i'll literally buy something that we already have but i did not know we have because it's so much stuff in the pantry or in the refrigerator that i can't even see what's going on so this refrigerator definitely needed to have some cleaning and I'm just looking at the expiration date for everything to see what's expired and I took out the drawers cleaned them down this one I just actually wiped down with the wipe because it didn't have any like food spill it just had like crumbs but the actual drawers I did take them out and I washed them scrubbed them down because it was some food spill in them and dry them off and then I put them back in the refrigerator um, but yeah the refrigerator definitely needed some loving you guys as far as the freezer I didn't even open the freezer and do that because I did do the freezer not too long ago so that was actually like fine but the refrigerator I feel like that is the that's the part that actually gets out of order a lot because it's so many people in the house and people just put their food in there or like if you didn't finish your plate you just put it in there and you leave it or you know you buy fruits and then it just go bad so yeah so I finally clean it out I wipe down the shelves and everything and now I'm just stocking the drawers back I had a lot more cheese than this y'all but I threw it out because like I said I always end up buying multiple of the same thing so I just threw out what was like what was old because i don't know about y'all but sometimes th those cheeses be having like expiration date that's far away but i'll smell it and it don't smell good so <laughs> i threw it out but i'm just organizing my yogurt the apple sauces for the twins capri suns for the kids and whatever else that i felt like that needed to go in the drawer i just put in there so it wouldn't take up space in the actual refrigerator so I just have a designated drawer for my actual vegetables. And then in that aluminum foil, it's actually turkey bacon because I didn't have any more gallon bags, but I end up moving it. So I'm just putting all of the meat in one section because that meat needed to throw out so I can meal prep. And then I just added some more stuff in the drawer. Had more cheese y'all, like good gracious girl, how much cheese do you need? But it, we go through it fairly quickly, you'll be surprised. <laughs> On this shelf, I just put like milks and any, um, as you can see, like the heavy whipping cream, which I try to get when I see it in the refrigerator because it's always sold out. <laughs> so any juices, things of that such. I just try, it's not really like a method to the madness as far as the refrigerator. I just did what makes sense. If it could fit there and it makes sense, I try to keep everything together, but yeah. So I do have a little rack, as you can see, for my eggs. I got it from Target. And now Khalil is dropping down the tripod so you all cannot see. And I did not realize it. 
until now but that is the finished product and i did have 18 eggs in total so i just put the remainder in the drawer and now time for the actual drink storage so i just went through the drinks to see what was old threw it out or i put all of the waters or flavor waters at the bottom and then everything else at the top I don't drink sodas at all, you guys, so I don't even like my waters to be... I try to keep the sodas all together, water all together, so the kids can know, you know, so they could just have their designated area, because I don't drink soda. And now for the pantry, y'all. This pantry... Oh, my goodness. Horrible. Okay? Horrible. But one thing I can say, when I went through my foods and everything like that, it was it looked like it's a lot but after everything was organized i could really see how like no girl like you need to go grocery shopping for real for real for real so yeah I do want to have like some type of pantry organization you know where people have actual like containers in their pantry and have you know they take the items out of the actual boxes that come in the store and just take it out and put it into the containers and i feel like for one it looks more a, a more cleaner it looks more cleaner and also i feel like it's very helpful because a lot of the times my kids will take things out of the boxes and i'll think that it's something in the box like say for instance it's a box of um gum gummies or stuff like that and i'll think something is in there and then there's nothing in there nothing so i do want to get some pantry organization but for right now I'm just making use of what I have and trying to organize this so it will not look a mess because it was just all over the place, y'all. Now at the bottom of the pantry is where I keep my plastic bags. But as you can see, there just was too many plastic bags. Like at this point you're hoarding them. And some of the plastic bags I don't even use like food line plastic bags. I don't know what they did, but they are just so like, they easily break now. And I love to keep plastic bags for different things, y'all. You never know what you might need a plastic bag for, like for real. So I love the Target ones, okay? I'm a Target girl. The Target ones are nice and sturdy, okay? And I like to use them for whatever I need to use them for. And I'm just sweeping out the pantry because there were some crumbs at the bottom. And this is the final look now it's time to put up those dishes that i put in the dishwasher yesterday so we're just gonna go ahead and put those dishes up because they're finally clean the dishwasher did its job or the lack thereof because i still had to do semi of his job first
and before i put this cast iron pan up i'm gonna go ahead and oil it down because y'all know you gotta oil your cast iron pans you can't just have it out here dry put some oil on that thing girl And I'm just putting the grills back on the actual stove top. Y'all, I really want to take the knobs off to the stove so I can clean them. And I know they can come off because I did it before. But for some reason, ever since I put them back on, they will not come off. I don't know why. But, yep, stove is clean. And now I'm just cleaning the, the, cleaning the sink again for like the fifth time. <laughs> but this is the last time for this video anyway. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the cabinets because as you can see, we have white cabinets and they get really dirty. The twins love to play in the cabinet so we don't keep anything in there that will like harm them. For the most part, the cabinets underneath are pretty empty but they get pretty dirty and I'm just cleaning, wiping them down y'all. They are, you can't even really tell but they were dirty. Like they really needed to be wiped down and I'm just using the wet ones to wipe the, those down and to clean the trash can because the top of the inside of the trash can was dirty also. And now it's time to actually clean off the floor. I'm just returning my grandchild to his respective owner. So I'm just sweeping the crumbs up before I actually, you see her feet of her baby y'all. <laughs> I'm just sweeping the crumbs up on the floor before I actually swiffer it and steam it. And I only did this area as far as cleaning. I didn't actually go all around and Swiffer and steam because as you can see, the twins were walking around. So I'm just gonna wait until they're asleep or something. But I swept everything up and now I'm just using my Swiffer. And then after that, you're gonna see me use my actual steamer. I like the steamer because it sanitizes the floor, like the steam sanitizes the floor. And I feel like it does a good job with like, say for instance, you have something on the floor that's like kind of hard to get up. If you just let the steam sit on it for a little bit, then they'll get up easier. And you know, with us having babies, they tend to, pick stuff off the floor a lot even though we try to keep things off the floor it's just really not possible to keep everything off the floor like because you never know you know what I'm saying so I like to use a steamer because it sanitizes the floor and yeah it is a little tedious because you I can't like move really too quickly with it right now I'm speeding it up but yeah it's a little tedious in that aspect of it but i like it you just use water you know no cleaning products needed just water with distilled water so i really like it i'll link it below also if you want to use it for your floors and look she already dragging her stuff see now time for the this is called the morning room so we just this is our eating area you guys we do have a dining room but we don't have anything in a dining room this is just what we use for our eating area and as you can see the table needs to be clean it's a lot of crumbs on the table on the 
um, chair and Kehlani is on the table and she should not be on the table. And I came in there and fussed at her. So now she's trying to get off the table because she see me coming. You see her? Look, she about to back on. Uh-huh. Back up. This is what I'm using. I'm using the Pledge Multi-Surface Cleaner. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean the table down and the chairs. I do like to keep a candle on the table, but as y'all saw, the twins like to get on the table, so I don't typically light it unless they're nowhere around. But yeah, I do like to keep a candle on the table also. And I'm just using a, a wet one once again to wipe down the actual walls because there was food on the walls, food by the outlets, because the kids love to touch the walls when they're supposed to be sitting down eating. So yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. And I'm just wiping down the window seals also because they were pretty dirty. Sweeping the floors. I did not Swiffer or steam this area um, because like I said, the twins were walking around. So it was just no point. So I'll just wait until tonight to do it. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up. We finna go deep. Riding on a team. Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. And this is the final look, you guys. The kitchen is clean. Oh my goodness, y'all. Ooh, look at that counters clean no no dishes in the sink everything has its place microwave is clean yes 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 stovetop is clean mm -hmm. everything is clean mm -hmm. refrigerator is organized i can see what's going on okay the pantry is organized morning room is organized and clean Fucking man, daily. Can't nobody do it like I can. Daily. Fattest in the lattice in the lake. And now I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I put this pledge back where it belongs because like i said i'm trying to be intentional we're putting everything up as y'all saw it was still a mess in the living room area but we ain't talking about that we're talking about the kitchen right now okay so that's it you guys thank you for watching this video and do not forget to be great today like my friend always tells me bye i got something for you when we get home if you let me put it down when i come in town you should lie on me keep your minds on me on try baby i think you should side with me stay solid one time if you lie with me just promise you never lie to me keep the moves on tuck i know it's all up everything good keep the vibes on crush I